Argan Oil, Wikipedia Article Audio Argan oil is a plant oil produced from the kernels of the argan tree that is endemic to Morocco. In Morocco, argan oil is used to dip bread in at breakfast or to drizzle on couscous or pasta. It is also used for cosmetic purposes. The fruit of the argan tree is small, and round, oval, or conical. A thick peel covers the fleshy pulp. The pulp surrounds a hard-shelled nut that represents about 25% of the weight of the fresh fruit. Extraction Properties and Uses The nut contains 1 to 3 oil-rich argan kernels. Extraction yields from 30% to 50% of the oil in the kernels, depending on the extraction method. Extraction is key to the production process. To extract the kernels, workers first dry argan fruit in the open air and then remove the fleshy pulp. Some producers remove the flesh mechanically without drying the fruit. Moroccans usually use the flesh as animal feed. There is a tradition, in some areas of Morocco, of allowing goats to climb argan trees to feed freely on the fruits. The kernels are then later retrieved from the goat droppings, considerably reducing the labor involved in extraction at the expense of some potential gustatory aversion. In modern practice the peels are removed by hand. The next stage involves cracking the argan nut to obtain the argan kernels. Attempts to mechanize this process have been unsuccessful, so workers still do it by hand making it a time-consuming, labor-intensive process. Berber women often engage in this arduous task. Workers gently roast kernels they will use to make culinary argan oil. After the argan kernels cool, workers grind and press them. The brown-colored mash expels pure, unfiltered argan oil. Finally, they decant unfiltered argan oil into vessels. The remaining press cake is protein-rich and frequently used as cattle feed. Cosmetic argan oil is produced almost identically, though the argan kernels are not roasted to avoid an excessively nutty scent. Culinary The decanted argan oil is left to rest about two weeks so that solids suspended in the argan oil settle to the bottom. The clearer argan oil is further filtered, depending on the required clarity and purity. Pure argan oil may contain some sediment. Cosmetic Argan oil has a relative density at 20 degrees Celsius ranging from 0.906 to 0.919. Argan oil contains tocopherols, phenols, carotenes, squalene, and fatty acids. The main natural phenols in argan oil are caffeic acid, oluropean, vanillic acid, tyrosol, catechol, resorcinol, epicatechin and catechin. Depending on the extraction method, argan oil may be more resistant to oxidation than olive oil. Impacts Culinary argan oil is used for dipping bread, on couscous, salads, and similar uses. Amlu, a thick brown paste with a consistency similar to peanut butter, is produced by grinding roasted almond and argan oil using stones, mixed with honey and is used locally as a bread dip. Environmental Various claims about the beneficial effects on health due to the consumption of argan oil have been made. A research article published in 2010 found that argan oil contained higher levels than other oils of gametocopherol, which possesses strong chemopreventive and anti-inflammatory properties. Social Moroccans traditionally use unroasted argan oil to treat skin diseases, and as a cosmetic oil for skin and hair. Argan oil has become increasingly popular for cosmetic use. 
The number of personal care products on the U.S. market with argan oil as an ingredient increased from just two in 2007 to over 100 by 2011. Argan oil is also sold without additives as a natural skincare and hair care product. The increasing popularity of argan oil has prompted the Moroccan government to plan for increased production with their aim being to increase annual production from around 2,500 to 4,000 tons by 2020. The argan tree provides food, shelter, and protection from desertification. The tree's deep roots help prevent desert encroachment. The canopy of argan trees also provides shade for other agricultural products, and the leaves and fruit provide feed for animals. The argan tree also helps landscape stability, helping to prevent soil erosion, providing shade for pasture grasses, and helping to replenish aquifers. Producing argan oil has helped to protect argan trees from being cut down. In addition, regeneration of the argan array has also been carried out. In 2009 an operation to plant 4,300 argan plants was launched in Mescala in the province of Essaouira. The Rezo des Associations de la Reserve de Biosphere Argan Array was founded in 2002 with the aim of ensuring sustainable development in the argan array. RARBA has been involved with several major projects including the Moroccan National Anti-Desertification Program. The project involved local populations and helped with improvements to basic infrastructure, management of natural resources, revenue-generating activities, capacity reinforcement, and others. The production of argan oil has always had a socio-economic function. At present, Argan oil production supports about 2.2 million people in the main argan oil producing region, the Argan Array. Much of the argan oil produced today is made by a number of women's cooperatives. CO sponsored by the Social Development Agency with the support of the European Union, the Union des Cooperatives des Femmes de l'Argan Array is the largest union of argan oil cooperatives in Morocco. It comprises 22 cooperatives that are found in other parts of the region. Employment in the cooperatives provides women with an income, which many have used to fund education for themselves or their children. It has also provided them with a degree of autonomy in a traditionally male-dominated society and has helped many become more aware of their rights. The success of the Argan cooperatives has also encouraged other producers of agricultural products to adopt the cooperative model. The establishment of the cooperatives has been aided by support from within Morocco, notably the Foundation Mohamed VI pour la recherche et la sauvegarde de l'Arganir, and from international organizations including Canada's International Development Research Centre and the European Commission.